lads and lasses welcome to Oops, tips and advice for beginners what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a remake of a very old video that I did right in the beginning the first video I ever made which was um, I called it grouping right so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to revisit that video I'm going to redo it obviously on this better camera with the better quality and what have you um, right when you start playing darts nobody actually shows you how to throw darts or how to stand and address the board that's what I'm going to try and tackle today um, when you first start to play darts what somebody will do is they'll probably buy you or you'll buy yourself a dart board and a set of cheap darts that's all you need to start you don't need anything else this is one of the cheapest and one of the best sports it's, it's even cheaper than buying a chess board and, and some chess pieces fantastic game to get into very competitive um, great to relax i use um playing darts to relax and i just have a real good time go up the pub you can have a couple of pints you get yourself half right at darts you know, obviously you can get out there and you can really enjoy it because you can compete against the other guys in the pub or if you're a bit younger at the youth club if you go to a youth club or something like that or you're a member of a club try and persuade them to put a dart board up it's a it's a fantastic sport anyway right when you're going to start playing darts right so obviously you've got the board you've got it put up you've got it up at the right height you've got your hockey line on the floor at the right length away and the first thing to do is how to address the board right now some people because of because of medical conditions have to stand straight on some people stand straight on because they prefer that um, if you're starting out and you're going to be starting to play darts and you want to get serious about it and you want to take it up as a sport as well as just a hobby and something to just do if you want to actually become proficient and good at it getting a good stance on the hockey is one a very important part of it good stance on the hockey good solid is put your toe right in line with the, the bull's eye and then turn your toe side on so your foot is side on right up to the, the hockey line so you're in the same place every time what i'd recommend you do is get a marker or a sticker something anything and put it right in the middle of the hockey where your line with the bullseye is when you stood like this look straight at the board bullseye right in the middle of you draw a line down and put your sticker on the floor try and get a piece on your shoe that lines up with that sticker every time so you know you're in the right place and you know when you're right next to that sticker or the same distance away from the sticker that you're the same distance away from the board every time right so you've got your leg side on then what you want to do is take a very small step backwards and stand and face the board put a dart in your hand best way or say best way a good way to hold it is what i call three points of contact which is your finger guiding the point your two main fingers here holding the dart and your thumb supporting the dart from the other side try and keep your thumb straight now this is going to feel very strange when you first start to do it because obviously if you pick something up and you throw a stone you throw it a certain way this is a good mechanical way to address and throw your darts at the board so side on put your arm up stand straight like this put your arm up and look at the board turn your head to face the board and look direct at the bull's eye put your arm up make sure between your shoulder and your elbow is kept level right and when you do that all you do is pull the dart back and release it pull the dart back and just throw it as if you were throwing a stone into a glass or a ping pong ball if you were throwing a ping pong ball a pebble um, a piece of rubbish into a dustbin exactly the same thing all you do is pick it up and, and put throw it towards the board placing it where you want it to go same again up nice and level arm nice mechanical action that's it just nice and relaxed don't try leaning towards the board at first or anything that the experts tell you to do because all it'll do it'll put pressure on your ankles your knee your hips and also it'll hurt your shoulder so when you first start playing darts take it slow when you first start playing 
10 minutes, 15 minutes, then have a break. For the simple reason is if you pick up a set of darts and you start playing at the board and the first time you ever play, you play for five, sorry, if you play, play for half an hour, 45 minutes, when you've finished, your arm will ache and you'll, and, it'll, and you'll think, oh God, this is killed, and you'll have really bad pains in your muscles and what have you. So nice and slow and build it up. Right now, moving on from that, when you've had a couple of days just throwing the darts at the board, now what you want to do is you need to start getting your grouping. If you the, the mainstay of playing darts is your grouping, getting those darts to go in the same place one after the other, because that's the only way you're going to get a 180. It's the only way you're going to hit the doubles is when you practice. If you can group them, if you can get a dart on the outside of the double and have, have the capability of hitting that dart with the next one so it deflects into the double that gives you a more a better chance of hitting the double than it does if all you can do is just if you're getting if you're throwing for the double 10 and the first one's going up near the near the six and the next one's going down near the 15 you've got to get your grouping right very 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 important and the way to do that is basically same as what i've just shown you relax and then just feel the darts go out your hand Make sure that you're releasing them at exactly the same point every time you throw the dart. Make sure that your your arm is staying level every time you throw the dart. Once you start to build that and it starts to come together, you'll see a fantastic difference in the way that you play. So basically, it's up, get a rhythm going. Don't be aiming at anything, just aim at straight at the last dart that you threw. One, two, three, doesn't matter where they go in the board, or anywhere it doesn't matter just bump one two three what I would suggest you do when you're doing this is not aim but throw towards the bullseye every time boom 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 try and throw towards the bullseye and that'll give you a good idea of how your groupings coming on so you're aiming for the ball every time and you'll see I promise you the darts will start to get closer and closer and closer together when you start off they might be all over the board and then by the time that you've, that you've been playing I'd say two or three weeks, your darts then will be in the inner part of the inner ring. And then a couple of weeks after that, you'll be in inner balls and outer balls every time you come to the board. And then once you've got that basic ability, then you can start moving it round. And what I suggest you do is start your session, go for your balls till you've warmed your arm up, then try for the 60. Try... Four or five visits for the 60, four or five visits for which is 20s, four or five visits for 19s, four or five visits for 18s, then 17s, then go back 20s, 19s, 18s, 17s, right? 20s, 19s, 18s, 17s. Because as you'll have seen, when the professionals play, if they throw a dart and it blocks the 60 bed, then they come down for the 19s to score on the 19s. If they block that, they go for the 18s. So it's a fantastic way of you because you go into different parts of the board, but you're still keeping your grouping. So again, address your board, address to the board. You stand, turn your toe into your position, lock yourself in, put the the weight on your front foot, but not leaning towards the board. Up nice and straight and relaxed. nice and relaxed let me show you there you go and that that just shows you where you'll where you'll start and where you'll go to what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on here now so you can actually see me do a few visits I don't do that editing because I don't believe if you do that editing it just looks like you're cheating so I'm not cheating I'm going to show you exactly throw for throw second for second exactly what happens so I'm now going to go back over there and I'm going to address the board in exactly the same way as I've just shown you and I'm going to do exactly what I've just shown you and I'll show you the difference in the and the improvements that you'll make 
as you go along. Right, when you first start, you're expecting to try and aim at the bullseye, but if you're getting anywhere in this inner circle, consistently, you're doing absolutely bang on. You're doing really well. So first of all, you could be like this. Now that, when you first start off, is perfectly acceptable. That's, that's the way it is and that's what you'll, you will do. You will progress on from this to get better and better. After a couple of, a couple of weeks or even a couple of days it might start coming to you if you're a natural. And you should be able to get closer and closer to the bullseye. Now you see I picked the, the, the camera up before and shown you that that was what I've thrown and I've done exactly the same again. I'll take them out one by one so you can see from there. Out a bull, in a bull, out a bull, all in the line. Now that's where your grouping will get to. And then once you've got your grouping to that sort of level, when you can start hitting that sort of thing all the time, then you need to start moving it around the board, which is what I'll show you now. There you go. Grouping's not absolutely fabulous because I don't want it to be, but as you can see, it's what within an acceptable range and that's a good score that if you can hit that 64 you're gonna beat most people in the pub i'll tell you so 20s and then like i say once you've done that you've started nailing that you want to go 20s 19s 18s done 20s, 19s and now for 18s see grouping's not fantastic but at least we've got the scoring if we blocked ourselves off on the other one this is what we need to be doing Eight, 17s, 18s and I tend to like going for 17s because a lot of the finishes involve hitting the 17s there we go, one. Again, really good grouping, as you can see. And that's what you're looking to achieve. So, lads and lasses, thanks very much for watching Ints, Tips and Advice for Beginners. Um, like I say, this is a bit of a throwback to the grouping video which was one of the first ones I ever did and I thought I'd just revisit it and make it um, a little bit more on um, a professional level so as you can see it a bit better I think I've explained myself a bit better this time so thanks for it, watching Ints Tips and Advice for Beginners and don't forget lads and lasses as I always say, toe to the hockey